Ms. Ruby Quinones, can you hear me? <laughs> well, thank you very much. Happy New Year to everybody on the phone here. Happy New Year to you all. All right, I got the call uh, very shortly ago, so I'm ready to rock and roll. Do want to definitely wish everybody a happy New Year. Want to say I, I wish you nothing but happiness and success. And this is your year. This is your year. It's right there in front of you. The opportunity of a lifetime, the system of a lifetime, the dream team of a lifetime is right there in front of you. And all you have to do is seize the day. So we're going to go ahead and hop in. I do have some specific things I was instructed to cover, so I'll make sure that I do that. But I also want to go ahead and get back to some of the how-tos. We've been focusing so much on belief and so much on faith and, and so much on the mind, which is extremely important, obviously, because if you do not have those things in place, you'll never do the work anyway. Uh, but we have not talked about some of the, the mechanics of how to build this business for a while. And I really want to make sure that we're starting off strong because what we're going to do, I'm sure starting yesterday, but especially starting today since it's our first call of the year, is we're going to focus on some specific skills that will make all of the difference to be successful. All of the difference. Yes, you'll need to be able to present, but you need to be able to present in this business in this company less and less and less because of all of the amazing tools that are already out there whether it's the flip chart whether it's the DVD whether it's the websites or the recorded calls or the three-way calls so many tools in place you do not have to be a presenter to be great in this business and the less you present the better the less you say the better and I just get I'm getting a little bit of birdies talking to me from here and there and the tools that are getting ready to come out and be announced in Las Vegas will absolutely explode your business if you are ready. Just absolutely updated uh, tools. I won't, you know, let the let the thing out of the bag, but it, it, they're going to be coming. So just realize you do not have to be a world class presenter in order to get free. You do not. Don't have to be a great salesperson, and the less you sell, the better. Do not have to be a great salesperson to be great in this business. Now, yes, you have to understand what you're a part of. You have to understand how to communicate a value proposition, but it's more of just having a conversation, getting somebody to talk about themselves, have them identify what their dreams and goals are, and then show them how Organo Gold is the way to get it done. But in essence, you do not have to be a salesperson. And actually, the more that you sell, just like the more that you talk, the worse it is. So don't worry about selling. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one skill that you need to be an expert on, this is the one you do have to focus on. You have to be a world-class inviter. And it is my absolute passion, my burning desire, in order to get my goals and, and, and dreams achieved, I need to become a master inviter, and so do each and every one of you. Become a master inviter. A master inviter. If we have some on the back line, just make sure that you have a nice uh, clear line. So go ahead and mute yourself out. But a master inviter. And once again, if you can hear my voice, we can hear yours if you're on the back line. Please make sure you have a nice clear line so that we can go ahead and get this and don't have any distractions for anybody on this phone. All right. So learning how to invite. I'm going to focus on it very briefly, but you must take this seriously. No matter what skill, no matter what behavior you need you can't just hear it once and get it you have to learn it you have to do it you have to practice it over and over and over and over again and if you can't do and I'm going to talk specifically about inviting but all of the things that we do in order to promote our business if you cannot off the top of your head do a three-way call or do an edification or host a call or do a presentation if you can't do that that just means you have not put enough time invested into your business, into your craft. You have to be able to do it off the top of your head. So very basically, we're going to talk about inviting very quickly. Just give you some foundation, and then it's on you to go out there and practice this over and over and over and over and over again until you become a master. And it doesn't take a long time. You could decide today 
that before you go to sleep tonight, you will have practiced how to invite 100 times and you will set the foundation for everything you need to do to be successful in this business. So first things first, in order to become a world class inviter, you have to have some people to invite. That's why the list, step two, the list is so important. Go back and create a real list. And I'm sure everyone on this phone who's serious about achieving their dreams, who's serious about taking full advantage of what's getting ready to happen in Las Vegas and beyond, has already gone back and recreated their list. They've pulled out the memory jogger that's available in your back office. We've sent it out before. If you don't have it, ask your plugged in senior business partner to get you a memory jogger to help you remember all those people that you know. But I know that everyone on this phone and everyone on your team has been prompted and actually has done this, which is to recreate your list. Go back to your cell phone, start with A, and put everybody down on a piece of paper. Names and numbers, names and numbers, names and numbers. If it's not on a brand new piece of paper, it's not a list. Go to your Facebook, look at all those people, go to their info page and see who has their number and those are the real people who are interested in connecting. And the other people, we can still communicate them via message, but you want to take it off of Facebook. But the key is rebuild your list. Rebuild your list. It's the foundation of everything. Once you have your list, decide what you're going to invite somebody to. Now, of course, we have our coffee and jazz mixers. We have our scheduled calls, and we also have our three-minute call and the 22-minute call. Those are the ones I'm going to focus on right now. But before you pick up the phone, before you initiate a conversation, decide what you're going to invite them to. And preferably, if it's a scheduled event, like a coffee and jazz mixer or a scheduled call, I want you to have a backup event to invite them to because not everybody's going to be sitting around waiting for your call to help save them. They're going to have something going on. Maybe it's Bible study. Maybe it's something to do with their family. Maybe it's Monday night football that in their mind is more important than they can give. But that's okay. As long as you have something to back up to invite them to, they're still going to get exposed going to be exposed to the information which is all we need to do to get free so once again first step have a list second step have something to invite them to and then pick one of the many peak interest questions or phrases to pique their interest so that you can invite that's all you have to do and we know the the framework of how we're supposed to do this because every single one of us has listened, listened to cash cow over and over and over again we need to be in a hurry need to show value need to take it away if necessary be in a hurry show value and take it away and also we need to have the mindset that we do not need them they need us period point blank we are on a life what do you call it coast guard vessel in on safe on safe territory throwing lifelines out into the ocean and people are drowning all around us we don't need them they need us it doesn't matter how influential this person is how much money they may have made in something else they need us there's nothing bigger nothing better than organo gold right now you have to understand that you have to have that posture and when you're having a conversation it's not arrogance it's knowledge that you have something to help this person so be in a hurry, show value taken away. Once you have your list, once you're now going to look at your peak interest questions, you're going to ask one of those questions. And here are a few for you. Pick one or two that work, one, two, or three that work, and just master them. A great what I've been using lately, real simple. Hey, Ms. Quinones, this is Steve Merson. How's it going? Hey, are you ready for the best 2012 ever? You are? Hey, what are you doing tonight at 7 o'clock? That's it. Pique somebody's interest and then invite them. If there was a way that you could earn income in the coffee industry, would you at least want to know about it? If there was a way that you could earn interest, earn income giving away free samples of coffee, would you at least want to know about it? Some very basic peak interest questions and then invite them to something give you a few more just basic ones and I'll go through all the way and then we're going to go out there and just start practicing uh, if it's somebody that you know you can have some fun hey uh, uh, Justin how's it going man hey man you ready to make some money this year 
what are you doing at 12 o'clock today? There's a call that you have to be on. I'm at the beginning of the biggest business project of my career. That's another powerful one that I use. I am at the beginning of the biggest business project of my career. Let them respond because they're going to say something. They're going to say, wow, really? They're going to say, what you got going on? So here's a very powerful peak interest statement. I am at the beginning of the biggest business project of my career. They're going to say something. What's that? Wow, what's going on? Well, I'm glad you asked. Hey, what are you doing tonight at 7 o'clock? Now, here's what they're going to tell you if you're inviting them to something that has a specific time. They're going to tell you, uh, and before you invite them, and be, be very careful of the order that I'm explaining this to you, because you pique their interest. Before you invite, you clear their calendar. Now, what does clear their calendar mean? Clear their calendar means is ask a very simple question. What are you doing tonight at 7 o'clock? What are you doing tomorrow at noon? What do you do? Ask them what they're doing during a specific time because give them the common courtesy to understand that they probably have something going on. People have busy lives. And if you invite somebody to an event that's going on during their Bible study, they're not going. If you invite them during a time where they have something else going on that's important to them, they're not going. Wouldn't it be nice to know that before you waste your time, their time, and most importantly, your posture, by inviting them to something they were not going to show up to in the first place? So in other words, you pique their interest. Before you invite them to something, you clear their calendar. What are you doing today at 2 o'clock? They're going to tell you one of three things, typically. They're going to tell you that they have something going on, and when that's the case, you decide if you're still going to invite them to that event or go to your backup event. Or they're going to tell you nothing. Great. Then you invite them. Or they might say they're not sure. Then invite them. You have to anticipate what people are going to say. P people are surprised when someone tells them they don't have any money or that they're busy or that they're doing something. Why would you be surprised on an answer that's being given to you 90% of the time? Why not prepare for that statement, that, that rebuttal, and have something to say and keep moving on like the business professional that you are? So back to the beginning. Have a list. Have a peak interest phrase. Have something to invite them to. Have a backup event. And then say it over and over and over and over again. Before you invite, clear their calendar. Ms. Quinones, this is Steve Richardson. How's it going? Hey, guess what? I'm at the beginning of the biggest business project of my career. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing at 7 o'clock tonight? Nothing? Awesome. At 7 o'clock tonight, I'm having a private gathering. I'm going to share with you something that I believe could change your life forever. Can you be there? Oh, what's it about? It's about changing your life forever and making 2012 the best year of your life. Can you be there? Great. I'll see you then. Give as little information as possible. If they just say, what, what's it about? It's about earning money in the coffee industry. I don't have time to tell you right now. It's very important. Whether or not you become involved in this or not, that's up to you. My only challenge for you is to get enough information to make an educated decision so that you can see if there's something you want to be a part of or not. Or maybe you know somebody who could benefit from hearing this information. Can you be on the call? So ladies and gentlemen, very simple when you're scared, when you're inviting somebody to a specific event. Have someone to talk to. Know what you're going to invite them to. Have a peak interest question to use. Clear their calendar and then invite them. With the knowledge and the posture that you have something that can help them possibly change their life and the lives of their generations. Period. Now, here's something else. We've talked specifically so far about inviting to a specific event. I very much like inviting to this person's convenience because you remove all excuses for them not to at least be exposed to the information. And here's what I mean. While you can always initially invite them to a specific event, such as a coffee and jazz mixer or a scheduled call, Let's say you do, even if you invite them to a specific event, let's say a, a business briefing at the gallery at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. John, how's it going? This is Steven. 
Hey man, you ready for a 2012 of your dreams? Hey man, I got a question for you. I'm at the beginning of the business, the biggest business project in my career. What are you doing tomorrow at seven o'clock? Nothing. Well, you got to clear your calendar, man. You're gonna meet me at the Houston Galleria at 6:30 because I need to introduce you to some people and I need to share some information with you. It's something I believe could change your life. And you really have to be there. Can you be there? Excellent. All right, man. I'll see you there. So that's to a specific event. Hey, man. But before I let you go, you got two minutes right now to hear something. You got two minutes to hear something real quick. It's going to give you an overview of what this business is all about. Kind of what you're walking into. All right. Can, can you hold on just one quick sec? All right. Hold on. Become a master in the three-way call. Become a master in getting them quickly on to the three-minute overview. That's another exposure. Your conversation was an exposure. If it's face-to-face, -face, you've given them a sample of coffee. That's another exposure. You're inviting them to an event of maybe within the next 24 hours. That's going to be an exposure. Before you let them off the phone, get them on the three-minute call. That's another exposure. If you're in front of them, or if you're on the phone, hey, you got a minute real quick, like two minutes to hear something very important. It's going to give you an overview of this business and let you understand if you possibly want to be a part of this or not. Can you hold on one sec? And then connect them to the three-way call. And then if you really want bonus points, if you really want to compress time frames, if you really want to utilize the most powerful, least utilized tool in our business before you let them off the phone. Hey, hold on one sec. Let me see if I can connect you with somebody. I have one of my top, top leaders, a young man who's just absolutely knocking this thing out of the park. He's a young man. His name is Justin Pinkson, building a huge team all over the United States and all over the world. And he's somebody who I know you can relate to because you're about the same age. And he's somebody who could actually share with you how you can make this thing. Hey, hold on. Let me see if I can get Mr. Pinkson on the phone. And then before you get them off the phone, get them on a very quick three-way call. Ladies and gentlemen, when you master this, not if, when you master the art of inviting, it's done. It's not about recruiting. It's not about presenting. It's not about selling. It's always been about inviting. And I'm going to make sure that I am mastering this and every single person in this business that interacts with me knows how to invite knows how to invite that's it inviting and you need to be able to do it over and over and over again off the top of your head and when you do that it's over I, I hope you understand that how important we've been focused on so many other things and all those other skills and behaviors and mindset is important but at the end of the day look at the people who are successful with no previous experience uh, let's just say limited communication skills, but they know how to invite. There's a reason why still 75% of this industry are women. There's a reason for that. There's something about a dynamic of a woman talking to another woman. <laughs> I don't want to give my impersonation of a woman. Hey, girl, you got you. What are you doing tonight? Come over to my house. You better do this. Very simple. Very simple, ladies and gentlemen. So the power of inviting. All right, so uh, I'm not going to go over and over and over again because it's very basic. Have a list. Have a list of people to speak with. Know what you're going to invite them to. Have a backup event. Peak their interest. But before you invite them, you want to clear their calendar. Now, what do, how do you use a backup event very briefly before I, I kick it over to, to a man who's going to be blue diamond by the end of this month? Here's how you use a backup event. Let's say you're inviting them to a, a scheduled call or to a coffee and jazz mixer business briefing. Ladies and gentlemen, you say this. What are you doing tonight at 7 o'clock? Let's say, let's say they're going to be out of town. Okay, I'm going to be out of town. I won't be back yet. No problem. Hey, when do you have 20 to 25 minutes within the next day to get some important information? I know you could benefit from hearing it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very powerful question. If you invite them to something that they cannot attend, just keep moving. No problem. Hey, when do you have 20 to 25 minutes 
to get some very important information I know you could benefit from. Whatever time they give you, round it up to the next half hour and say, perfect, 1230. At 1230, we're having a private call. One of my senior business partners, it's a young man, believe it or not, he is 28 years old. Three years ago, he was dead broke, not even have a place to stay. And in the last 12 months, he's earned 12, he's earned a million dollars in this business, and he's teaching me how to do the exact same thing, and he's going to be on a call sharing with you how you might be able to be a part of this. Can you be on that call? When you sequence your conversation in the proper order, meaning you pique their interest, you clear their calendar, when you invite them to something, they have no choice but to say they're going to be on it because they've already said they're open, they've already said they have time, then you invite. If you mess up the order and say, hey, Deborah, this is Steven. Hey, there's this amazing call that's going to happen in two hours. It's going to be something that could change your life forever. I really think that you could benefit from hearing about it. Can you be on that call? No, I'm sorry. I'm in the hospital with my dad. You've, you've wasted so much of your time, their time, your posture, and you have the you lack the common courtesy to see if somebody just happened to have something more important going on than what you call out of the blue for. That this is communication, this is common courtesy. So that's what we're going to talk about as far as the nuts and bolts today. But we all know what we really need to talk about. Uh, there are some people who have been uh, getting ready to just explode in this business. There have been some people who have been sitting on the sidelines looking at this and we know that as long as we get them in Las Vegas, Nevada, January 6th, 7th, and 8th, it's done. I've had some people, had some issues, let some stuff get in the way, but I'm not worried about them because I know they're going to be in that room. That's why the most important thing you can do every single minute leading up to January 6th is focus on Las Vegas. Focus on Las Vegas. All roads lead to Las Vegas. Know what is getting ready to happen. Know that you must be there and as many people in your team are going to be there because anybody in that room cannot leave that room a changed person. It's impossible. Everyone who goes in that room who's in Organo Gold, Organo Gold will be in them forever leaving that room. They have no choice. No choice. I want you to imagine being in that room. 15 plus thousand people just screaming and energy and excitement and anticipation just people from all over the world in this room just electricity going on and I have no idea what Mr. Bugs has planned for us but I can just I can just imagine that before it gets all started the lights are going to go down and then the room is going to erupt and you're going to know that all the sacrifices everything you went through to be there it was worth it and not a word has been spoken yet you just know that's what's going to happen and that's what's going to happen in Las Vegas. That's why every single person on this phone, it doesn't matter if you still don't believe that you're going to be there because I know you're going to be there. I know you're going to be there because you have to be there. You can't have a front row seat to this. You can't. You have to be a participant, not an observer. So ladies and gentlemen, all roads that lead Las Vegas still focus on personal development. My mentor and partner said focus on the power of believing, focus on the art of recruiting. Can't remember what else, but it was it sound, sounded like a, something that I, I got from Mr. Art Williams, and that is the personal development. Flood your mind with personal development. Have every single word, thought, belief, action be positive. Positive. If there's any doubt, any unbelief, any fear, any any frustration, any fear, anything that's not 100% positive. All that means is you are not flooding your universe with positivity. Every single word, thought, belief, action, word, thought, belief, action, word, thought, belief, action must be positive for you to be, attract the people that you need into your life. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, I'm going to go ahead and kick it over to my man. I think he has found, he's been able to join us. Somebody who I am so proud just to be in his world. Because every single person that he touches, who has an open mind, who is teachable and coachable, who has followed in his footsteps, has become free just like him and his lovely wife, Sherilyn. Ladies and gentlemen, you can be here and still not benefit what's going on. And this is a man who is given everything. And when I say he's left it all out on the field, literally, Dr. Boone, tell me, literally this man has left everything out on the field. He just goes from 
from, from start to finish, just giving, 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 serving, serving, serving. And that's why, again, he is a top 1% income earner in his organization. Somebody who just serves everyone. He still has fun. If he's not, he's not having fun, he's not doing it. But he has the first-hand experience to help you be successful. Don't let the messenger or how a message is delivered distract you from what is being given to you. And that is a blessing. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that, closing out the call. Let me see if we got him on the call. Ladies and gentlemen, a man who will be a blue diamond, January 31st, 2012. It is signed, sealed, delivered. My friend, my mentor, my brother from another mother, Mr. Silas, Blue Diamond King. Mr. King, have you joined us? Mr. King, have you joined us on the call? All righty, hold on. I thought I got a text telling me to bring him on. If not, if anybody else is out there, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. All roads lead to Las Vegas. All roads lead to Las Vegas. For those of you who listened to the Millionaire Mission call last night, listen to it again. For those of you who missed the Millionaire Mission call on the first day of the biggest year of your life, you, you got to check yourself now, please. There was nothing more important than hearing last night's call live. And if you missed it and you haven't heard it yet, I've already listened to it a couple times, then all you're saying is, yep, 2012 is going to be just like 2011. So, ladies and gentlemen, yes, sir, I hear you, sir. Let's, let's, back, I'll go ahead and kick it off to you, sir. I don't care if you even don't even 
understand the PS3. I don't care if you don't even understand the right. I don't care if you don't understand presenting. But understand this. You must get it done now. A window of opportunity because momentum will begin to creep in after this event. The window of opportunity will begin to close. So you got to go get it done now. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. You got to lay it on the line and you got to get it done now. But it's going to start with you being in Vegas. It's going to start with you being in Vegas. So get as much rest as you can now because you won't sleep when you get to Vegas. Get as much sleep as you can get now because there will be no sleeping done in Vegas. I promise you, there will be no sleeping done in Vegas. You're going to be itching. You're going to be twitching. You're going to be uh, uh, ready to go get this thing done. You're going to be... So go into to, to Vegas with momentum. Talk, sign up people now. Talk to people now. Don't stop signing up people now. Don't stop ps 3 people now. Don't stop. But also don't stop promoting people to get to Vegas. This team will have 500 plus people in Vegas. This team, Team Faithful, will have 500 plus people in Vegas. How many of those people will come from your team? So, Stephen, with that, I'm going to kick it back to you. An incredible call, sir, today. Very, very proud of you and your organization and your wife. And just can't wait to give you a big hug in Vegas. This is the year, Stephen, of you. This is the year of you. This is the year, Stephen, of you. And this is the year to go get it done. This is the year that no matter what is getting done, and it's getting done now. Not now, but right now. Back to you, Stephen. Thank you very much, sir, and thank you for your counsel last night. Got my schedule all mapped out. Know exactly when my diamond date is, and, and that is, for the record, ladies and gentlemen, it's June 30th, 2012. I appreciate you very much, sir. Appreciate all that you do. Ladies and gentlemen, become a master inviter. Decide today that you're going to become a master inviter. Exposure is everything. Exposure is everything. But you can expose the world... If you don't follow up, you might as well have just stayed at home and stayed asleep. The fortune's in the follow-up. Exposure is everything. The fortune's in the follow-up. You still need to work with the willing. Don't be wasting time with people who waste time. Don't be wasting time with people who waste time. Exposure is everything. The fortune's in the follow-up. Work with the willing. Peak interest, invite. Peak interest, invite. Peak interest, invite. Peak interest, invite. Go out there and expose the world today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. Going to Las Vegas strong. Do you understand what you're a part of? If you understood what you're a part of, you would behave differently. Ladies and gentlemen, here's what I know. I know that the industry of network marketing is proud and credible and that it has created more wealth and more millionaires than any industry since the 70s. Period, point blank, the industry of network marketing is not on trial. I know that there's no product better for the best industry in the world than coffee. Nothing's more consumable and nothing's more profitable than coffee. It's not a luxury, it's a necessity. I know that for a fact you can go anywhere in the world and say coffee. So coffee is the best product with the best industry. I know that Ganoderma is the number one herb, which means nutrient, in the world. The number one herb in the world. It doesn't matter if you've never heard of it before. Go do your research and here's what you'll find. It's the number one herb in the world. 4,000 years of history has proven that. So we have the number one most powerful nutrient combined with the number one best product for the best industry in the world, and you're at the part of it. Oh, wait. We have the best of the best leadership. We have Mr. Bernie Chua. We have Mr. Shea Moran. And we have the man, Mr. Holton Bucks. There is no better leadership on the planet, especially geared for this industry. And we have all of the third-party validation that anyone would want. Any green, any lawyer, any engineer, anybody who needs to go and do their research, all you have to say is Napoleon Hill Learning Foundation. All you have to say is Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee. Do you understand what you are a part of? The best industry, the best product, the best nutrient, the best leadership, all the third-party validation in the world, and don't be a secret agent. Go out there and share this with the world. We've talked about present. We talked about inviting. You also need to be able to at least be able to give an overview of this business in less than two minutes. And here it is. This business is very simple. It's just coffee. Coffee is hugely consumable. It's hugely profitable. 
we have a health component. Our business model does not rely on buildings, employees, or advertising. Our product is so cheap to produce, we have so little overhead that our go to market strategy is we just give it away. And since we do that, we can devote half of our income off of our revenue and we give it back to the people who do all the work. But doing work is just giving away free samples of coffee. That's it. Don't wait a week or two weeks or months to get somebody on a conference call at two of coffee and jazz mixer. Give them that information. They already know all they need to know to decide if this is something that might be right for them, if this is something that they have no interest in, or if it's something that they should at least share with somebody else. And I'll say it again, this business is very simple. It's just coffee. Coffee is hugely consumable. It's hugely profitable. We have a health component. Our business model does not need or want buildings, employees, or advertising. And our go-to-market strategy, since our product is so cheap to produce with so little overhead, is we just give it away. And since we give it away, all we need we can we can devote half of our revenue and we split it up in commissions seven different ways and we give it back to people who do all the work based on what I just shared with you are you open to getting more information great that's it ladies and gentlemen be good be a master in your craft say it over and over and over and over and over and over again sprinkle in a whole bunch of personal development sprinkle in some belief and some activity and get your butt to Las Vegas. We will see every single one of you on the coffee break call. I mean at, at, at the um, yeah the, the the coffee break call at the bottom of the hour. We'll see every single one of you on Mr. Emily Tia's Millionaire Mastery call tonight at 9:30 Central Standard Time. Every single one of you must be on that call with your entire team. Tonight's the night that you blow up your business. So go out there, get it done. I'm so proud of each and every one of you, especially those people who last night let me know that, yes, they're going to Las Vegas. Of course you're going to Las Vegas because all roads lead to Las Vegas. Go out there, have an amazing, amazing day. Make a difference in my life. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Go get it done.